Okay, in this construction, we are going to draw a circle inscribed inside of a square. And uh, basically, um, we use a couple geometric properties as well as um, construction techniques such as drawing perpendicular lines, congruent segments, and uh, arcs, and other parts of geometry. So let's get started. Uh, our approach is going to be, we're going to start with a line at the bottom. Okay, and this is going to be, part of this line is going to be what our square is composed of. And let's pick our side of the square. So it'll be the, the length from this point to this point. Okay, there are other ways to do this, but this is our approach for this first one. And what we're going to do now is we're going to draw two perpendicular lines. And of course, if they're both perpendicular, by definition, these are also going to be parallel. But let's start with drawing perpendicular line from this one. Okay, and if you remember from our videos to draw a perpendicular line segment, you draw two endpoints that are equidistant this way. And then from each endpoint, you draw an arc above and an arc below. And then from the other endpoint, you draw an arc above. Let's get this exact. An arc above and an arc below. Okay, and then if you connect, draw a segment through these intersecting arcs, which of course should go through your point, which it does, you have a right angle. Okay, so let's do the same for the other point. Again, we draw two endpoints. Let's make sure they overlap like this. There's one, and then equidistant on the other side. Two, and then from each of these Endpoints, we draw again an arc above and an arc below. From the other endpoint, draw an arc above and an arc below. There we go again. And again, we draw a segment through these arcs. And of course, it should go through our center point if we did this correctly or close. Okay. Okay. And this is a right angle as well. So we have two right angles, and this is the bottom of our square. And so the last thing we want to do for the square is we figure out what's the length from here to here. Okay, and that's the length. So we draw an arc of equal length. Uh, by coincidence, it goes right through there, and a length there. Okay, so what we just established is this length is congruent to this length, is congruent to this length. These are right angles, and this should be congruent as well. And if, of course, you take this point, notice how this also intersects. So if we draw a line segment from this point to this point, these are also right angles. And we just now we have our square. This is, of course, congruent. So all these are congruent lengths. These are right angles, so these must be right angles. And the last thing we need to do is draw the circle inscribed. And all we need to do that, this is actually relatively straightforward. We just need to figure out what's the center of this square. And if you remember from your geometry theorems, the center will be where the diagonals intersect. So here's one diagonal. And here's the other diagonal. Okay. And here's the center where they connect. And so if we were to inscribe a circle, the center must be this point. So we start at this point, and we figure out what the length of that arc is. And we keep going around. I'm going to spin the paper a little bit so we get this exactly right. Okay. And there you have it. Circle inscribed in a square, the centers are the same, congruent sides. Okay, one more time, and this time I'm going to actually construct a square using a couple shortcuts. This will be a lot faster. And I'm going to also show you uh, how we would circumscribe a circle around the square. So let's start. Again, we draw the bottom of our soon to be square the line. And then of course we establish one of our vertices, which will be right here. 
And what we'll do is let's first draw a perpendicular line through that point. And the way we do that is we go from the corner, an arc from to, to that end point, that end point. And now from each of these end points, we will construct an arc above and below, and then an arc above and below. And of course, we just draw a segment through these intersecting arcs, which also goes through the point. And this is a right angle. So this is one of the corners of our square. Okay. Now, unlike the previous construction, what we're going to do is let's establish the length of the sides of the square. So this is going to be one length. And of course, we put an arc over here. Okay. So that means this is one side with red pen. This is congruent to that. Okay. And keeping the same length on our compass, we'll go from this corner, let's draw an arc up here. And from this corner, an arc again. And notice where they intersect right here. Okay. The distance from this point to this point is the same as these. And the distance from this point to this point is the same as these. So we can just actually connect these. And of course, a quadrilateral with all sides congruent is either a rhombus or a square. And in this case, it's going to be a square uh, because this is a right angle. Um, these are all congruent sides. And we can prove that all of these are going to be right angles as well. OK? Now, the last part, again, we want to circumscribe a circle around it. Again, we need the center of this square. So we'll draw two diagonals. One diagonal, and then two diagonals. Okay, and there's our center. And all we have to do now is use our compass to figure out the length to this corner, which is right here. Okay, and it's going to be the same length all the way around. So we carefully do this with keeping the compass on the center here. Of course, we're confirming our sketch because it nicely goes through. And there you have it, a circle circumscribed around a square.